Political professor Gabe Sanchez and our own Dick Niffing have been watching this primary closely tonight. They join us now from the KRQE newsroom. Dick? Well, Gabe, first of all, good to have you back with us again. Always a pleasure. Looking at this uh, first district congressional race in the Democratic primary right now, Michelle Lujan Grisham ahead by about 1,300 votes, 46, mm -hmm. 35, 46, 30, 37, somewhere in there. I'm sorry, 42, 35. Um, what does Eric Griego need to pull out of the today vote that we're still waiting for yeah, as, to as, get back into this? As the votes are coming in, you know, my math puts it that basically having to flip this around and, and come in with about 42% overall. Which is what she's got. Vote, yeah. Which she's got, basically. So it's not out of question, but I think it's going to be difficult. A lot of us thought that. Griego, if he was going to win this, would have to do well early in the early in absentee. He had all the ground game. He had a lot of infrastructure. and He did. I he mean, did. we see the enthusiasm when we were just down there. Some he of did. that was organized, I'm sure, but yeah. there was a lot of fired up people. There were a lot of fired up people there. So it's within possibility, but I don't think it's, uh, it's that likely at this point. I think we ought to explain to the viewers what's going on there, that what we have now are the early in absentee votes. That's what came in right mm -hmm. at 7 o'clock. And what we're waiting for is the today vote. And right. that should be roughly about the same number. Well, I don't know. Is that right or not? Uh, about 60-40. So it's 60 a little 40. heavier on the today on the vote. Today but vote. a big chunk of it is already in, at least in Bernalillo County. All right. Now, the Senate primaries we knew were going to be the way right. they came out. So it's going to be Heather Wilson and Martin Heinrich. No That's surprise it. there. How does that race shape up? You know, that's the race. That's going to be the 2012 race in the general. Um, and I think it will largely depend on how much outside interest both candidates receive. If Heather Wilson gets a lot of outside money, the Republican Party sees this as a, as a victory, trying to win back the Senate and make that, you know, a tight thing nationally, then I think you're going to see this go a neck and neck. Uh, so that's going to be the race. That's where all the attention will be. Um, and that's, that's the action. All right. The key right now is the today vote. We're waiting for that here in Bernalillo County in Congressional District 1. That's going to decide if we expect that that will start coming in in substantial numbers about 9.30, about 20 minutes from now. Stay right here. Join us on News 13 at 10 o'clock. We're going to stay with this thing and get it wrapped up. Right now, Michelle Lujan Grisham appears to be in the driver's seat, but you know what? That car is still on the road, so we'll have to Anything see how it turns out. All right. Back to you guys. All right.